Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another recipe video. This one has been highly anticipated, my apple spice muffins. Now I've called them a couple of things, caramel apple muffins, apple spice. It just depends on the flavors that you taste when making these. Nonetheless, they taste like fall in your mouth and it was definitely satisfying that apple craving that I have been wanting so badly. You wanna see what's in this recipe? Keep on watching. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Let's talk ingredients. We need some daisy sour cream, lots of spices, some cinnamon, ground nutmeg, ground allspice. These are going to give you those fall flavors you want. You can go in with different nut options, but I used walnuts today. Some sugar-free syrup. I'm using the Chalk Zero caramel syrup to give it that caramel flavoring. Baking powder, some almond flour, monk fruit. I'm using Lakanto Golden. You can use any granular. Some caramel extract and then some apple pie extract or apple flavoring, whatever you can find in your store on Amazon. We're going to need three eggs, some butter, and some almond milk. And those are the ingredients we're going to need to make the actual muffins and the crumble topping. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my cup and a half of almond flour and I'm going to sift it. You always want to sift guys when doing keto baking. Half a cup of granular sugar is going in. And then baking powder is a half a tablespoon. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my spices in. So it's one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of allspice. And give that a good stir. This is all your dry ingredients. I forgot to put my salt in there, and I love Redmond's Real Salt, so I'm just eyeballing it. It's probably about a fourth of a teaspoon, guys, as far as the salt's concerned. Give it a good whisk. Don't forget it like I did. In a separate bowl, I'm going to add my wet ingredients, which is three eggs going in. Give them a good whisk before we put anything else in here. Then I'm going to add my sour cream, one-fourth cup of sour cream. Make sure it's the full fat. And then one-third cup of unsweetened almond milk. And then you're going to put your butter in there, which is six tablespoons of melted butter. Now, I'm opting for the sugar-free syrup, which is one tablespoon. You can use whichever kind you like. I love Chalk Zero. And then my apple pie flavoring, y'all saw just a little bit of drops. I actually did one and a half teaspoons of apple pie flavoring. And then for the caramel extract, we did half a teaspoon. I'm going to take all my wet ingredients, put it in my dry, and then give it a good whisk so it's all incorporated. And then I'm using my little gadget here. It's about a tablespoon. I will tell you it put about three tablespoons in each muffin liner for 12 muffins. So go ahead and divide that up equally so that your macros are pretty on point. By the way, macros will be in the description box along with the recipe. So that's how the muffin part looks. Now we're gonna make our crumble topping, which is half a cup of almond flour. Then we're gonna put one tablespoon of granular sugar. For my seasonings, I'm gonna put one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon of allspice. Then we're gonna add some salt again, and then we're gonna go in with your nut of choice. I'm using one fourth cup of chopped walnuts here. Now we're gonna go in with the wet, which is one and a half tablespoons of melted butter. Some caramel extract, again, half a teaspoon here. So I didn't add any of the apple pie flavoring in the crumble. You definitely could, and you can add more car caramel extract or more apple pie in the muffin, guys, if you think it needs more apple flavoring. I just know that extracts can get really alcohol tasting, so that's why I just did one and a half teaspoons of the apple pie flavoring for the muffin, and it's just hint. It's not super strong. I will tell you. Now I'm taking about a teaspoon of my crumble and I'm putting it on top of my muffins and dividing it equally before I put it in the oven. Also, don't skip on the crumble topping. It definitely is a must. So now we're going in a preheated 350 degree oven and I initially put mine in for 25 minutes, but I will tell you, I baked them for an additional five. So in my oven, I did 30 minutes because I wanted that golden, like crunchy crumble topping on the top. Oh my gosh, they came out so beautiful, guys. Look at these. They are absolutely amazing. You're gonna store these in the fridge after they have cooled all the way for up to a week. And let me tell you they taste better the next day in my opinion the flavors the seasonings the spices the apple comes through the next day versus the same day the hubby liked them warm he liked them right out the oven but personally me i liked them the next day so that is it guys that is the 
apple spice muffin recipe y'all have been waiting for. Not complicated at all. I know it does need a little bit of special ingredients with that apple extract, but with keto, hey, we got to do what we got to do, right? If you enjoy these recipe videos here on my channel, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you a part of the family. So make sure to hit all the bells and whistles next time I upload a new recipe video, which by the way, I've got a few coming to you that you're not going to miss, want to miss. And don't forget to check the description box for the recipe and the macros will be there. And if you use Carb Manager, I already have this plugged into Carb Manager. If you type in caramel apple muffins or apple spice muffins, Nicole Burgess, it'll be there already plugged in for you. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing day and awesome weekend. If you make this recipe, don't forget to tag me over on Instagram. I love seeing how y'all vary the recipes and what you're whipping up in the kitchen. Thank y'all again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.